Yo, what's going on? It's Harry Shotter alongside the Fantasy. What's going on? It's 24-7 TV. We've got James in the place today. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, good to meet you guys. Thanks for getting us in. Nice. Yeah, it's good sir. to have you in, Pleasure. man, because obviously with our channel, we do a lot of music stuff. We're into the sport, but tech is also a big part of what we do. So could you tell the, um, the viewers kind of what you do, what your company's all about, what your interests are in this field? Yeah, so actually going back to my roots, I've got a bit of a heritage in YouTube, so it's kind of cool to be back here and a lot of what we're doing actually is kind of driven from the background of Google and YouTube uh, yeah. so in fact here Google Cardboard which okay. was an invention opened by that's open source for Google so anybody can turn their phone uh, and this cardboard box into a virtual reality headset so I've got SciFi, which creates uh, virtual reality or immersive experiences for festivals like Boomtown okay. Liverpool International uh, Psychedelia Festival and Comic Con, we broke a world record at Comic Con with YouTubers, okay. uh, Stuart Ashens, Mr. Weevil, uh, and Lee Harcastle by people doing uh, a kind of VR trip in time to music, which like you guys are into a, in a dome at Comic Con, and then recorded it in 360. So afterwards, you can actually experience being at the world record. Wow. And then now I've kind of got from VR into, which you're going to play around with a bit later, mixed reality. And for me, I love VR, mixed reality is the future. So it's kind of, um, actually you have total presence mm. and you can see, so one of the things with VR, you're totally disconnected in a virtual space, whereas mm. this you've got reality. And one of the closest things you could compare it to is a little, sometimes, and that's why I've got sci-fi, is a bit of psychedelic drugs in some ways, mm. or just imagining. Or like a trip, yeah? Yeah, so, because imagine. Like, so ha did you used to like, you know, are, are you from that era where you understand like that kind of, that thing because obviously Culture, if yeah. people haven't done that they wouldn't know do you understand what i mean that whole totally cycle, yeah. yeah so i'm from i've always been inspired by or urban alternative counterculture mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so whether it was that was watching old films you know like easy rider to then making my own experiences um i've always been inspired by how counterculture or even you could talk early youtube was a kind of punk kind of yeah, modern so media yeah, where they were taking a medium of its time to then reach an audience in the way they wanted to be connected with mm -hmm. so if you look at it uh, technology is always kind of hijacked or the best stuff comes from youth or alternative culture mm -hmm. so for me yeah to see because things also i look at it as well you can give people an experience without having to have drugs as well so yeah, that's yeah. a positive thing mm -hmm. yeah, people are always going to want to experience stuff so you don't have to you know it's actually how can we give people mind-blowing experiences that feel something different mm. which is what you guys are trying to do as well through your music mm. uh, and making video so yeah so it, that kind of touching you you're kind of spot on i've really been driven by past rave culture yeah um or kind of psychedelic movies um or one of the early things where i noticed it was asian dub foundation we did a gig with them in mm. the 90s projecting the film battle of algiers and that's what i noticed when you mix sound and visuals with live experiences that mm. are immersive you can change massively how people feel it's funny because you mentioned boomtown um you know i think i think music is kind of becoming more than like shows are just becoming more than the music side of it it's becoming the experience yeah. and one thing is uh, about boomtown is it's an amazing experience and i think probably half the people go to boomtown for the experience as opposed to mm. for the artists because they can go and see the artists wherever do you know what I mean? Like no, so, totally, yes. so being able to sort of do these kind of things, I think is quite cool. I mean, I, I, for the first time, just before we started filming, I went on the, the mixed um, reality thing, and that's by far the best one I've. I'm looking I've forward been. to checking that out. That's it. Yeah. You're going into yeah, that. Yeah, it um, was. It was by far world. the best. Like, virtual reality. I mean, um, we've had AR, which mm. I thought I was. Re I was absolutely. My mind was blown by that. But to see this, like, I'm just like, wow. That's why, well, that's why we got it here as well. You've uh, kindly going to let us check it out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We're very, this, it's still developer technology. Well, did you um, say uh, look, we're, we're two years away from, so we're two years away before this is really becomes to the forefront? Be for, before, for this, for this sophistication of device, mm. Microsoft have just launched some more lo-fi um, mixed reality headsets, but you still have to plug them in. And one of the reasons I always went for this, a yeah. mobile phone and a cardboard box, yeah. is that I still prefer the power of taking something that originally 
in like in 95 when VR was supposed to happen you had to have a massive computer and it cost mm. a fortune whereas I can do VR with this in a cardboard box so I always mm. loved once again that kind of hacker mm. like wow we can do this you know a kid in a bedroom in the estate yeah can't afford a grand or three yeah. grand for some of this kit but they can go and make something or do something with their phone mm. and a, yeah. a cardboard box well how much is this so a decent cardboard would be about 10 quid. Oh, wicked. This That's is like a Bobo headset you can get for about 25 quid on Amazon. So you just put your phone in, you've got headphones. So this is what we were using uh, at Boomtown. Okay. Uh, and we created an experience which was, like you said, all the you know, you know the kids and teenagers and even adults, they all want experiences. Can yeah. I just, just check? So this, when, when you use like this, it's at your actual, this virtual reality, you're locked away from what's going on out there, yeah? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So that's total immersion in, in a digital virtual world like Tron. Mm -hmm. um, and then, but when you take this, so the guy that invented this also invented a uh, connect scanner, which you know you'd use on your Xbox, so mm. body movement. Yeah, so it's yeah. actually scanning the whole room. Yeah. So when you saw the holographic, model of the ballerina earlier mm. or the street dancer they were captured in our studio in real time like mm -hmm. i said you could come down and for free would capture you mm. and turn you into a holographic model but then we can actually place you with movement and it's as if you're here and mm. then through that we're going to do it later record you in the room uh, with this holographic content and so in the future it's going to change what reality is and that's going to be interesting because imagine if you both had these headsets on mm. you'd both be showing a different reality to your audiences mm. so it becomes a totally a different context to each audience mm. and, and they could maybe even switch between your headsets wow. so yeah. that's why i love it it's like Heads really gone. it's yeah. going to get weird <laughs> it? so. it's getting crazy man well i'm anxious to try this yeah out. well i think that's what should we should do let's, let's do it i've let's already tried it the matrix huh? the, yeah, yeah man, let's go in let's do it all right cool let's go ready let's do this let's go man Welcome to the HoloLens. Can you see it then? Yeah, okay. Can you see my helmet? Uh, I can, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. So very, it should be a very, street very dancer different here. to VR. Can you yeah. see the street dancer there? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. So it's a real street dancer captured doing his moves. Wow, he's, he's good as well. All yeah. <laughs> oh, right, there's a dog down there, yeah. Don't piss on the floor. <laughs> Hey, have oh, you wow. seen my unicorn over here? Oh wow, just now done. Barking. Wicked. Hey, can you see the unicorn here? Look. Right, we've got the street dance. Hold on, there's a ballerina. There she's there. Yeah, she'll it? dance for you. She's, she's uh, the okay, first ever holographic model we did that you can actually get on the HoloLens. Okay. There you go. So. Can you see the cat over here? Hold on, look, yeah, I've just we've got the ballerina here. I can hear the dog again. You set the dog off. <laughs> wow. You see the cat? Oh, there's the space helmet <laughs> above your head. <laughs> Oh, there's a cat. Oh, the cat's huge, man. Yeah, man, look at the size of it. Oh, so that's like a, one of my nightmares, that. <laughs> All right. See the unicorn. Oh, wicked. Wow. Yeah, man, this is, this is big. And you can actually still see me as well. Of course, that's what I love about it. It's so that's, different to the virtual reality saying, I've that, seen, man. It's so much better. And we're recording through his eyes. Yeah. And this is this is mixed reality, right? This is the yeah holographic is mixed reality. Is my helmet all right? Because I, I can't think <laughs> I might have moved. <laughs> Love the street dancer as well. That's wicked. And if you wait, if you go up there, there's a spaceman. He space might, he'll man. start oh, waving. I've not seen that. Yeah, up there. Oh, there's a there's a oh there's a planet as well. Yeah. yeah. So over there. Oh, wicked. He'll wave at you. He's loading up. That is crazy, man. Wow. Isn't that, <laughs> isn't it? Crazy experience, man. Insane. So wow. can you can you um like you see this this kind of um Back to thing, reality. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can actually like take real life people, like you said, the ballerina. Yeah, using can, we're working on a new model at the moment just using Connect point cloud technology where you just walk into four uh, like connects and in real time we can holoport you to an, anywhere in the world in the hololens so the connect thing is similar like as you're saying to the uh, the um, when you're playing xbox the, on, yeah, yeah uh, the wii machine kind of thing as yeah. well yeah so alec oh. the guy who invented connect alex kipman who is also involved with hololens okay and he calls this the transcendence of space and time in how we'll deal with technology interfaces so in the future you may not have your telephone 
you may not have a TV, you know, just everything will be like you see in the sci sci fi yeah. movies. Yeah. You know, that wow. well, Iron Man meets Minority Report meets yeah. um, Valerian. Right. That's mad. So what are we going to check next? Cool. So now we're going to go and take you back to 1995. Okay. You're going to enter the floppy disk. All right. So yeah. you're probably too young to remember some of these things. So this is actually, we work with the composer, Simon Boswell, okay. who did the music to uh, Shallow Grave and the film Hackers okay. with Angelina Jolie. So what I wanted to do for his anniversary was take everybody back using uh, a mobile phone uh, and an app where you all take a virtual reality pill Okay. based on a psychedelic trip yeah. but mm -hmm. it's just all virtual yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah shot has got a meeting about yeah. seven yeah. we don't we don't want him there yeah all so in. do you want to do one as well yeah let's do it together I don't man yeah. I don't yeah we've got two yeah. phones so. oh right cool that's cool yeah, me and, and you can download a psychedelic trip together, yeah it? no no I, I give up all that yeah, so, <laughs> so what you've got to do is when you're in the cardboard okay uh, you've got to find the pill, you know what, take the pill. I'm actually wondering how to okay. open this. I didn't realise I was going... Uh, yeah, we're rookies, man. It? We're rookies. You're going to have to help us out. <laughs> yeah, so I'll put on... I'll leave it with... Just We can just hear the music coming out of it. Okay. <laughs> so what you got to do is find the pill, take the pill. So the samples in this is original music from the film Hackers. Okay. Yeah, so you need to look around. It might be best doing standing up. I've actually got the virtual pill in front of me. Have you already focus on it? And yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you've got to put that oh, line yeah, I've got in it. it. Yeah, there you go. Dial up. Ooh, <laughs> oh, there's a wow. floppy disk. <laughs> oh, the old dial up tone. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fall over. <laughs> Can Mr. David Ross please catch me? <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right, well, we're having great fun yeah, here. <laughs> yeah. We're having amazing fun there, but yeah, that is really good. Does anyone else want to have a look at this? <laughs> wow, you know what? Wow, we want to thank you for really coming down today and kind of bringing us into your world, man. It's been <laughs> yeah. an experience. Well, that that was, cool. Wow, well, and excellent. I can't wait for the, uh, the viewers to see what we, we just saw. So by the time you see this, you'll be able to see what yeah. we just saw, which is yeah. crazy, man. And thank you very much for coming down. Hopefully you can come down again and tell us some more. About yeah, well, maybe doing. we'll do a nap for you. Yeah, well, but also when, when this develops more, it'd be good to sort of like dot the progress of, of course, all, wouldn't it? Of course, 100%. Know I mean? so. Yeah, I know you're right. The mixed reality, I think, because don't forget, you, you can be, yeah, it's going to change the way you make stuff mm. uh, in, a, in, a, in a new way, yeah. Because you could become the performer and the broadcaster at the same yeah. time mm. and people will see through your eyes so yeah. as we know social media uh, you know with snapchat and youtube and all these things it's kind of where it's at yeah. Yeah. excellent thank you very yeah. much Rock for coming roll, down man. i'm still i'm still it. like you're still blown away <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No, i that's love why. all that though i love that love stuff it, that man. makes me go but that's yeah. why I stuck with it because I noticed after people came out after they were doing it, they felt they were feeling happy, and yeah. they it was like they had taken an experience, and that's yeah. the whole point of doing anything, isn't it? Yeah, to make people feel something. They yeah, felt. get a reaction, man. Definitely. Yeah. Cool. Boy, twenty four seven TV bringing you that new ish. Yeah.